So you wanna get into investing, but you don't know where to start. You just don't know which stock is safe for you. I think for a lot of us, the S&P 500 is a good place to start. Now, there's a couple assumptions you need to consider if you wanna get into investing in the stock market. I always tell people that having three to six months of expenses saved is a really good starting point. Second, we also wanna make sure that at your whatever work you're at, you are taking advantage of that 401k plan match. And third, we wanna make sure that you are keeping your credit card utilization or that balance minimal. Simple terms, you pay off that balance at the end of every month. Quick note I wanna make about the S&P 500 is you're not gonna make a million dollars overnight, obviously. It's not like gambling. Rather, when you put money in, you are depending on compound interest to do its work over time for you. Now, the thing with investing in index funds is this. It's more of the long game versus the short term reward. So, for example, let's say you were to put $1,000 of an initial deposit into the S&P 500. You're looking at what? A annual rate of return of 10%. Now, let's say per month you are putting $150 to help that grow over time. Within five years, you're already looking at a total balance of $13,000, give or take, which is pretty good. That's the thing with compound interest. It grows over time with minimal effort. You don't really need to analyze and keep an eye on it. Now, some brokers you can go to to help put your money to invest into some index funds would be Fidelity, Vanguard, or Charles Schwab. All very reliable. You can't go wrong with any one of them. But the point is, get started, build wealth, play for the long run. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.